The next sections we have are pretty much uh, the same because we have parameters and variables and let's scroll up so you have a table and you have these parameters in this case this is uh, information for i didn't mention it but for transportation model so you have the unit cost for ship and a truck from a plant to a customer so the, the way to now i'm referring not to the latter code but the way to uh, f f rephrase uh, what the parameter means is by mean, uh, my means of constructing a, a sentence uh, with a verb describing exactly what this uh, parameter represents. In this case, this represents the unit cost for shipping the truck from plant, and we use this index we haven't defined previously. We don't need to, because as long as we refer to the set it belongs to, that makes full sense for the reader. So we don't say just P to customer C, but we need to say P in P to customer C in C, as long as we've defined those sets previously. This seems kind of um, unnecessary, but when we have lots of sets, and some sets are susceptible to others and things like that, it is very useful and necessary, actually, to state explicitly uh, the index to which this set belongs, okay? Uh, the same goes for the other parameters, okay? And we repeat this P and P, and, and so on. Okay, in this case, we have the cost for opening a plant, or the capacity if the plant is open, or the demand for each customer, all uh, measured in, in trucks. When it comes to the variables, uh, we have two subsections, one for the continuous variables, the other one for the binary variables. Okay, And I particularly prefer, although this is not a universal rule, to use Greek letters for binary variables and regular ones, uh, referring to um, to continuous ones. I tend to use letters that have some resemblance to the fact they're referring to unless the model is very simple, which is the case here, where X is the, 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 the letter everyone has in mind when it comes to, to a variable. But if I were using a different variable for the number of trucks, the times the trucks arrive to a particular location and things like that, I would try to find letters and only letters, not full words, because if not, the text afterwards becomes unreadable. Letters that have some relationship to the concept, to the to the, to the element they refer to. Okay.